water. So I just lost my handbrake. Um, I ran my brake line because I was pretty sure I ran a longer one this time, but it runs over the differential and my differential bolt got loose. Then the differential was wiggling up and down and actually managed to touch the line. And it looks like it grinded on it pretty neatly. Uh, if you look through here, you can see the hole right there. You see it? Uh, I'm trying. <laughs> Your hand is there. Well, I have to move the line out of the way. Anyways, mm -hmm. it cut the line, so I lost handbrake pressure. So I got no more e-brake. Now, I'm also checking everything else back here because I'm, I'm trying to see if all the axles and everything is holding up since these are actually eBay axles. I don't know if I told you guys, but for $150 axles, they're holding up great to 800 horsepower. And I've driven already three events, no issues yet. They do start making a little bit of noise, but that is pretty common on all axles, regardless when you're running that much power. Oh, oh. Natalie's here. <laughs> you didn't tell me Natalie was coming. She was. Me she she got a G? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, another one? Yes, this is the fourth. So, G35. okay, so now we don't only have three G35s, but we have four G35s. We were searching for her, but we couldn't find one, so she did it herself. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is Natalie. She's a really old friend of mine from back from my first shop ever. Mm -hmm. And she drives some pretty cool cars, and now she got herself a G35 to join the squad. I'm back, I see that you're also rocking a big blue shirt. I like that. <laughs> show, show the back, show the back, show the back. It's yeah. a G <laughs> <laughs> Show me the car. So uh, that's actually pretty cool. I see you got the same color as I do. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> so that means you're gonna learn how to drift on this thing too, right? Yeah. Hoping you gonna teach me. Yeah. So I got three girls to teach how to drift. I mean, I am still, you know, getting better myself, but it's really difficult handling an 800 horsepower car. But in these cars, it's literally like 350 Cs, but in, in the Infinity chassis. So. They're really good learner cars. They're very versatile cars, so you can go from mile to while on these things. And they're really fun. Do you have fun driving this thing over here? Yeah. Pop the hood and see what you got. Nice. I see you got a kinetic air intake. Have a steel and cold air intake. Does it have headers too, or just exhaust on the back? It has headers also. Oh wow, so I have headers, strut tower bar, you got the good, so you can definitely be making close to 300 horsepower with this, or maybe even more, if it's tuned, I don't know. But this is definitely cool. So you got more power than all of us right now. That's not fair. I'm not <laughs> sorry. I can't leave my start, my, I was going to leave my car stuck, I can't leave it stuck anymore. Sorry Sharon. You're gonna have to step up your game. I'm ready for that. Really? Yeah. Well, we're still gonna see what you got on stock power, then we'll start increasing your power afterwards. That goes to you, Janice. What? Wait, I wasn't listening. That, hey, you're gonna get power later. Not yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the interior oh. looks like the rest of the cars, too. The common ripped driver's seat. This one is beige interior. You can definitely use some detailing on the interior side but it's all there it's manual six speed now the wheels gotta go this has 20 inch wheels it's gonna need 18 inch wheels and tires so it's a little bit cheaper for drifting especially at that power level too i saw it also has a brembo brake package so that's a plus so now you and sharon both have matching brakes so not only we have three g35s now we have four g's I think we get one more, we're gonna have some pretty good reception, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so we got this box. Janice, why is the box open? I don't know. <laughs> is that a night racing shirt? Maybe. Oh my god, what did he send? <laughs> so we got some hats. Oh, so this is a shirt that you have? Yeah. This is really cool, let me see it. It's very pretty. Shadow. <laughs> All right, Sharon, you gotta put the shirt on. I wanna see that. Here you go. Catch. Woo! 
And of course, I gotta get my shirt. So I, I wanna put this on a little bit. This looks great. But what I really wanna see is this new fuel jugs from Ignite. So no more of the other fuel jugs. Now I have my very own Ignite racing fuel, fuel jugs. So I can bring this fresh Ignite racing fuel to the truck with me and feed some corn to my E36. Can't forget about the straws. Janet, you gotta install some straws on the jugs. Give, give them to me. <laughs> Do you know what you're doing? No. <laughs> I've never, like... Oh. Okay, okay, so this, no, you don't have to take that off. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to figure it out. Janet, you're an engineer, come yeah, on. I've never had one of these. All right, so you gotta take this plug off. And then we screw that part yeah, in. Yeah, but it, like I don't have like a a tool, right? A tool for it. So you go over here. We grab one of this, and this it's right on there, and you take it off. Okay, I can't do this because I have a back spell. Like I, I'm an old lady. <laughs> there we go. Nice. <laughs> you almost got it. Now put this straw in. The straw. There you go. This is how we do it. You're recording my skinny fingers. I yep. know they're skinny. You don't have to say it. But you are skinny. What are you talking about? Imagine if you had fat no, no, fingers no, but and my skinny fingers body. Fingers are like extra skinny. Like it's okay. They're, they look, look great. Look they're they're fine. All right, a finishing touch, the torque wrench. No, I'm just kidding. I just a wrench. Now we gotta test these Johnny's, right? So I'm gonna need you to pour this can into that jug right there. Okay. All right, so we gotta put some of this ignite fuel Ooh. in the jugs. All right, bring it over. There we now go. Now lower it, lower it, lower all the way to the floor. All the way to the floor, all the way to the floor. Yes. Hey Sharon, rocking that Ignite shirt. <laughs> I really like how that looks on you. Ooh. I like it. <laughs> I'm happy with my shirt. <laughs> Ready to go. Woo. <laughs> well, so now we gotta fill up the tank with some Ignite. So finally, we have all the cars together. My baby's here. Alberto's is there. Janice is here. Yes. Woohoo! Okay. So here we have my new baby. We weren't sure what color we wanted, so we just chose every color in the <laughs> color scheme. We open it. Hello, welcome to my crib. <laughs> The leather interiors, they're immaculate. <laughs> like, so pretty, pristine. <laughs> I mean, it smells really good, so. At least we have, oh, it's because of that Moshi, Mishimoto. Oh, the Mishimoto. Yeah. yeah. I have that in my car, so that's why it smells amazing. Oh. But, yeah, let's see. Oh, yes, yeah. it is. Oh, the, look at those the seats. beautiful, beautiful yes. leather seats. See, mine, mine are better. Yeah. It only gets better. It only gets better from here. <laughs> we, we added this for some per personality. <laughs> we, we, we didn't want just white bland, like <laughs> just white. So we just did so something there, right? Do you want to see the coolest part about this shirt? It's the back. Race the best, drink the rest. Ole! Oh, oh. <laughs> I like this hat or flex face. I don't have to button it all the way to the last one. It just stretches to my head size. <laughs> it actually feels pretty good. You like it? Nice. Now well, you look like Jay. <laughs> so we have one for each. Nobody said anything about that. I'll see you next time. Oh my god, you're not sharing, really? No. So now we're
we're going to eat. I have Alberto back there. No, now, now it's time to eat. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> we're gonna try a Mexican place close to the shop. Let's see how it is because this is something Mrs. Janice selected. You know, we're here eating some queso fundido. The service is amazing. Alberto is drinking a rochata. Really yeah, it's really good. I'm stealing their cheese. Mm, don't be shy, don't be shy. Yeah. I got some flautas, but I can't eat anymore. There was so much cheese and chips. Mm. Alright guys, the food was great. Natalie is back at the shop and I surprised her with a new color of her wheels. What do you think, Natalie? Do you like your wheels or not? Here's a cool new purple color. So this is actually not purple, it's Illusion Violet from Prismatic Powders. My friend Jonathan at Luxury Choices Powder Coating powder coated these wheels. And then to make them look extra good and handle properly, we wrap these with some Valino Pergia 08C tires. So these are the 300 Treadwear tires that I'm version that I'm using on my car. So they're gonna have a lot of grip. A very good racing tire, so it's gonna be excellent for drifting. It's gonna last a long time. It does goes really well with the gold Brembos, and you can see on the back, it matches really good as well. Um, it does have a broken wheel lug nut, but now that it's in a hurry, so I'm gonna replace this probably tomorrow. So don't pay attention to that. We decided to put 235 4018 tires on these cars, since the wheels are square set up, so you can switch them around if you want. So you can make, you can use the tire all the way so let's say you wear this out a little bit you switch into the front and then use the front and the back and use all your tires or just wearing the back and not having enough for drifting anymore so you can play around with that and also compared to the old tires that were on the car they were 285 um 35 20s that these wheels and tires were like 80 pounds it's ridiculous now she's gonna have a much lighter weight wheel and tire setup is gonna make that's gonna car. make her car feel a lot lighter and more responsive well it's moment of truth so let's lower the car and see what it looks like on the ground and this is what the wheels look like on the ground i think it looks really good now it's gonna be a lot quicker than it was before with those really heavy wheels well that's the first mod on natalie's car we do have to do a couple more upgrades to her car so we can get it ready for the 18th for our third private track day so stay tuned for more videos. On Thursday, I have a really cool video modifying Sharon's car to get it ready for drifting. So she's also gonna be trying, she's also gonna be drifting for the very first time on September 18 on the next private track day. So I'll see you guys on Thursday on my next video working on Sharon's car. Thank you so much for watching. Please smash that like button and subscribe for more awesome content. I'll see you guys later.